guys, welcome back to my channel. It's my first video, formal, I guess, video. I'm filming with my new hair. Today's video is very exciting for me because I am filming my whole experience, my suggestions, my thoughts, everything on the Couch to 5K journey, which is basically an app. There's multiple apps out there. Um, to help you learn how to run and actually enjoy running. So if you were like me and hated running, couldn't run, despised it, like just couldn't wrap your head around running for more than like five minutes, you'll probably enjoy this video because now I run 5K three times a week and I'm training to do 10K and I genuinely enjoy it and all the benefits that come with it. So if you're intrigued, then just keep on watching. So as most of you know, 11 weeks ago, I downloaded the Couch to 5K app. Mine, uh, I'll pop up a picture of what it looked like, but I don't know if it's available in every country for download, but there's multiple different ones. I know the Nike app, I think, has something similar. So find one that obviously is similar in comparison because I know that this one isn't available for everyone. It is a nine-week program. I, I just decided before 2020, I wanted to be able to run enjoy running and do 5k without dying and without stopping so those are my three things obviously i started late because i started in was it august or end of july i think it was the first week of august i started i had downloaded the app a couple of months prior but i hadn't started until august i think i downloaded it in may i kind of regret that now because i could have taken advantage of the nicer weather for longer and obviously it's coming into the colder months but anyways, I think that's the hardest part is actually starting. I know you probably hear that a lot with any kind of fitness, um, healthy lifestyle kind of thing is to actually start. My personality though, when I start something, I'm all in, like I'm not tippy toe. Like that's probably why it takes me so long to actually start is because I know, okay, once I'm in it, I'm in it. Basically, they want you to run three runs for every week. You don't have to if your lifestyle, your schedule doesn't allow you to get out three times a week. On my specific app, you could do any of the runs as many times as you'd like. So you have to make sure you can complete that run before you go on to the next one. So by completing it, it's listening to the podcast. Like you pick a trainer on the app, you follow the directions. So I think the first run, if I remember correctly, it was... Uh, you always start with a five minute uh, warm up walk and a five minute cool down walk. So that's in any run, no matter the length, that's always how you start. Walk for 90 seconds and run for 60 seconds. Literally one minute. Your first week, you're only running for one minute. <laughs> so crazy because I remember on like week two, it was like, or week three, it was like run for three minutes. And I was like, oh my goodness, Patty, I have to run for three minutes. This is going to be insane. I don't know if I can do it. And now I run for like 35 minutes and I love it. Follow the program. I promise you it works because I could not run. Like I genuinely could not run. I thought I had flat feet, which I don't. I blamed it on so many other things. Like I know my dad doesn't like to run. So I was like, oh, it's genetics. Like we just don't like to run. Um, but I wanted to like force myself to at least be able to run whether or not I enjoyed it. And while I was starting this journey, I also wanted to take it into the rest of my life, like healthiness. So I decided for the whole month of August to do no takeaway food. So um, like having nothing that we didn't make. This was just me. Patty obviously could have what he wanted, but this was something that I wanted to do with the exception of my birthday because that's the 21st of August. So we had a pizza party, <laughs> which was so good. But I wanted to like, you know, have reap the full benefits that I could with this program. I did healthy eating along with intermittent fasting. It also works with my schedule. So what that is, is um, I didn't start eating, like I didn't start my calories for the day. I would have black coffee or whatever, cause there's no calories. Um, but I would, wouldn't start eating until around 12 PM, sometimes 1130. And that naturally worked for me because Olive doesn't really wake up till eight. I would have a coffee when she wakes up, I'd feed her her breakfast, then we would go out for a couple of hours, and then when she comes back for her nap at 11.30, that's normally when I would eat anyways. The hard part is when we stop eating. So I would stop eating at 7 p.m. every day. So I'd get all of my calories that you would if you ate from 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. or whenever. I would get it all in in seven hours, from 12 p.m. till 7 p.m., 
and I feel like my body just re really worked well with that so you have more time in the morning for your body to burn off calories from the previous day it all worked for me I enjoyed it um, so I'm just wanted to let you know what I did along with the running I'm not gonna really focus on that because it's not this is about the running this video is about the running if you want to know a little bit more about what we ate or about intermittent fasting then you can feel free to leave a comment or DM me on Instagram first thing is starting obviously it's mind over matter and I even think that to this day there's some runs and even I, I have is it Joe Wiley she was my a coach in the app and she even like says in some of the programs or some of the runs that there are days where you feel like you can just keep on running you just feel amazing you can go faster longer and then there's some days that you did nothing different in your day but your legs feel like lead you have no motivation normally it comes down to how you're mentally feeling like if I had a lot on my mind and I wasn't in a great mood and I felt a little groggy and I was just not really mentally in a good spot I always found my runs weren't as good or n not as enjoyable but I always did feel better after them something that running does it does release a lot of endorphins and it kind of maybe not during it because sometimes during it you're like oh my goodness why am I doing it but as soon as you're done the relief and just like you feel really proud of yourself and you feel like you've achieved something that feeling is real, I'll tell you that. I kind of like never believed people when they were like, oh, running is gonna give you such a high, all of this, and I was like, no, sorry, it's not. It does, please, like honestly, like if you stick with it, it totally does. Starting off, download the app and actually start it, that's the number one tip. Mind over matter, kind of have your mind in a good place when you go for a run, but again, it depends on your day. Sometimes some runs are gonna be easier than others and that's just how it's gonna be. Obviously, eating healthy is gonna help with running and your fitness and you know, motivating you to go a little bit further and faster and we've continued it and obviously it's a good habit because this program is nine weeks and I've heard it takes a habit to stick after four, so I'm glad that we did that. Or I did that because Patty didn't do this. I did it. Also, I know a lot of people will say that they can't find time in their day. Honestly, I have a child and Patty, this run will only take you 30 minutes. I'm sure you have 30 minutes in your day. Even um, James taking care of all of for 30 minutes so I could go for a run. You have to really pri prioritize this if this is something you really want to do um, for your health and your fitness. Um, you just have to prioritize it. So it's kind of again mind over matter You have to really want this and I feel like with um, Wanting to be able to run for me personally. I really wanted this so I I made it work I did the three runs every week for nine weeks um, and I followed the program to a T Absolutely, like never stopped when they said to keep running. I followed it to a T and I love it. I love to run now, actually, which is weird for me to say. One thing I will say, the first three weeks, I was finding that I was getting like knee pains or hip pains and I wasn't re running in like the right shoes. They were just like a pair of running shoes that I had that I thought, oh, they're running shoes, I can run in that. I went to a store and they kindly helped me pick out a pair and I ended up with the Nike Pegasus and it was life-changing. Like I could feel the difference instantly when I started running like I wasn't having pains everywhere I felt like I could go a little bit further and faster um, I really wanted the Asics because so many people recommended Asics but they are more of a narrow fit or at least all the ones that I tried on were extremely narrow on my wide feet so I knew with running your feet swell a little bit and it just it wasn't gonna work out for us so the Nike Pegasus was perfect so if you have wider feet like myself go check those out because they're so good. Nike Pegasus 36. I'll link them down below, but I absolutely love them. A couple of things when you start running, especially throughout the program when it starts to become a little bit longer runs. It's a lot of interval running in the first couple of weeks because that's helping you um, kind of gain fitness to be able to go a little bit further um, distance without stopping. For the runs, I found if I kept running the same route, I knew my spots, like my spots where they would stop for walking or 10 minutes in, I started to know where they were and it wasn't motivating me the same. So change up your route, that's massive. I have like four or five routes that I have and that's perfect for me. It just kind of gives you different scenery, something to like 
look at that's different. It changes it up a little bit. You don't get bored and then you start thinking about the running and then you're like, oh, wait, why am I doing this? I don't like it. So I really do think the root has a massive play on it. Along with different roots, get a good playlist. Oh my goodness, like you need a good playlist. I have a really weird like taste in songs when it comes to running. Like sometimes I like really good like pump up songs and like fast beats and intense and then like I have, this is so weird. I have like a violin solo piece on my playlist as well. I don't know, but it just motivates me to keep on going. I have a whole bunch of variety. Do the playlist that suits you. Um, keep adding to it so that you never like get to the end. Like make it longer than 30 minutes. Maybe make it an hour playlist so that um, every time you run, you're not listening to the same songs on repeat. Which leads me to my next major tip. I was keeping my phone in my bra, this was awful, or in like this tiny little pocket that was in my leggings and like it was not deep enough to keep the iPhone. So I went to TK Maxx and for like nine or 10 pounds, I bought this little runner pouch. It is uber, uber thin. Um, it fits my iPhone perfectly. I have an iPhone 10 and it's a touch uh, guarding screen. So it like fully zips in. It's like a little pack, waist pack that you put on and then you can like touch it so I can change my songs or whatever. I can still see it, which is great. And I think, yeah, it was like 10 pounds at TK Maxx. So go somewhere like there. You don't have to go to like an actual like running store and overspend like most TK, TJ's, winners those places will definitely have one i prefer it over the armband one i just feel like it would annoy me and i love the waist one it's perfect and has adjust adjustable straps now the program that i followed the catch to 5k journey i believe again it will be linked down below i don't know if it's specific to eu uk but they only did a five minute warm up walk and a five minute w cool down walk there was no like stretching like that you followed or anything and around week seven, I noticed my calves became really, really, really tight. My runs were just not enjoyable because they were so, so I went like almost the whole program without properly stretching. So I don't recommend that. I really wish I took advantage of like, just even like a full minute stretch of like your legs, your arms, like just your calves, your ankles, everything before you do your little like warm up walk. I think that makes a massive difference. That was definitely my least enjoyable week. There's gonna be great weeks, there's gonna be harder weeks. Don't worry if you have to redo that week. I highly recommend if you feel like you weren't, you're not ready to move on to the next week, repeat the week that you had a harder time at so that you feel a little bit more prepared before you go on to the next week. There is no race, there is no um, timeline. It's totally you and what fits your lifestyle, your schedule. Um, I think I'm just a little bit <laughs> like intense when it comes to these things. So probably could have you know redone a couple of the weeks, definitely week eight to be one of them. Um, but I'm so, so glad I did this. There are so many aspects of it that I loved. I loved how I felt after. Not only physically I was noticing a change, I think I went down a size and a half in all of my clothes. I had to get all new jeans and everything. Um, and I wasn't doing it for a weight change or a body change. I was really wanting to do it to be able to run and like to run and I do like to run now so much that I'm downloading the next app, which is 5K to 10K. So it definitely changed my views on running and how I do it. So quickly to round off everything, if you didn't want to watch the full video, I'll guide you to this section of the video just to round off everything that I recommend. Mind over matter. There's gonna be good runs, there's gonna be hard runs. Healthy diet, I tried to cook all the food that we were eating. And then obviously I had no takeaways for the month of August while I was running. And I also did intermittent fasting, which means I didn't eat from 7 p.m. till 12 p.m. the next day. So I ate all of my calories for my specific weight and height from 12 p.m. till 7 p.m. Good shoes will make such a difference, especially if you feel like you're having a couple joint pains, make sure you're running in the right pair of shoes. Change up your route. If you feel like you're getting bored of the same things, you're looking at the same places and you just aren't feeling motivated, change up your route. You'll definitely find you're a little bit more motivated in your run. A good playlist, download as many songs as you want and you'll be surprised. Maybe you do want a violin uh, soloist on your playlist. Trust me, there was something like 
I'll, I'll share the song down below, but it's like, <gasps> I wish I could play violin. Like, they're so good. Wear a pouch, wear something to keep your phone, or if you want to wear a phone to listen to a podcast, your playlist, anything like that. Um, either a waist pouch or an arm pouch. It'll make your life so much easier. Make time for it. There's definitely time in your day to go out for 30 minutes. Think of all the other things that we have time for. If you really, 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 really want this, you can make time for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. It's a little rambly, but I don't know how else um, to do it because I just really wanted to chat to you guys about the whole thing and really encourage you because honestly, if I could do it and now love to run, I know you can. Trust me, like when I say I hated running, I really did. So let me know if you're thinking about starting the program or if you have started it, I would love to know um, your little tips and tricks or advice, anything like that. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.